back again viewers and these vlogs and food reviews here today yes and we've come to today again in our day it's time for another takeaway tuesday today we're at rycroft fish bar in carpool lane in, when it comes under warsaw we're going to pop inside see what's on the menu we'll be back in a moment Right then viewers, we're back. We've been to the Rycroft Fish Bar um, and unfortunately I didn't see a menu so I'll just go through a quick recap of what um, they have. They have the usual fish and chips as you can imagine, kebab and chips, pie and chips, they've got uh, southern fried chicken, jumbo sausages, scallops and etc and all your drinks as well. Right then viewers, if you bear with me one moment I'll get the food out and I'll show you what I've got. Right then viewers, we've got Dino Kebab and Chips, Chicken and Mushroom Pie and a pot of curry sauce. A total price of £9.70. Which in all which in all in fairness I don't think is too bad for what we've had. But I did hear that uh, I mean, and they also do as well, I will say they do uh, an option of plain or battered chips. Um I wish I'd have tried a bit a bit of both really, because I normally try a bit of both, don't I? But to be honest, I'd actually heard that the batter chips are really nice here. So, without further ado, let's tuck in and uh, see what we think. Right, let's try the chips first. The chips are nice. Right, should I have a look at the kebab? Well, that was freshly cut off. Um, I'm, not, I'm not, not that impressed with the kebab viewers. A bit cardboardy. I'm disappointed with that. I'm just not feeling it with the kebab. I'll show you there on the camera. It's just a bit... Well... There's a perfect example. The kebab's okay. It's just a bit cardboardy in areas. Alright. We did just try a trip, but we'll just try another one just to be sure. Because I have tried trips before, viewers, and um, I think it was at George's, and in the middle. You could taste the potato in the middle, but it wasn't cooked through. And then I tried a couple of others, and it was fine. And then when I tried a few after I'd filmed, um, they were got they were all hard in the middle again. So I'm just going to be absolutely double sure that these chips are okay. But I reckon they will be. Yeah, they're my nice chips. Can't fault the chips at all. I can see why people like. Um, the, chip, the batter chips here. Now, now viewers, look at that. Now that, I can tell you now, that is how a curry sauce should be. Look at that. Nice and thick. And, oh, yeah. Now that is what I bang on about in these videos, about a curry sauce not being too watered down. Now that is how curry sauce should be done. And I, like I say, I think I, I can't remember if I mentioned it at the start of the video, but I will mention it again if I do, if I have mentioned it before. I do apologise. You got a choice of two curry sauces here. You got a Chinese style and you got a normal. I've gone for the Chinese style. And I can tell you that view, now, viewers. That is a proper curry sauce. That 
is a very very good combination chips and curry sauce if you're ever dropping by and you want some chips i'd recommend you have the curry sauce with it now let's have a look at the pie that seems that seems pretty good looking at that Very not to knock the camera, I knocked the camera there uh, last time and ended up having to uh, do a bit of editing, more editing than I normally do. Right, let's just if I can, uh, I'm just going to take it out actually, it'd be easy just to take it out wouldn't it? Without trying to get into a mess with it. Just try a bit of that. Very nice. It's a little bit. It's a little bit hard around the edges, but other than that, it's very nice. You can see all the pucker pie in the middle. As you've seen before the, on on Takeaway Tuesday views, we had quite a few pies, haven't we? And they've been there uh, second to none, to be honest. But um, but I can't fault this really. There's just a couple of well. I can't fault it like I no, like I normally have done. Well, I've I've uh, I found things wrong before, like on a larger scale. There's only a couple of things really that I can say, like small things, if that makes sense, that I can find with this really. Um, but let's do a quick recap. First of all, we've been to the Rycroft Fish Bar in Carpool Lane. In comes under Warsaw, and we've had. Kebab meat and chips, chicken and mushroom pie and curry sauce, a total price of £9.70, which I don't think is too bad. I mean, some you could the jury could be out. The kebab and chips was £5 for that. I mean, one, one or two people might say perhaps the size could be bigger. Um, I think it's a di I think that's just a normal standard, isn't it, that tray, I think. You know, we have had bigger trays. We've had those in a, in a larger scale. But it was a special, and I don't think that's too bad. I don't like to be too bloated, to be honest. So I think that's a decent size, in my opinion, and my opinion only. I'm going to say it, viewers. I'll get me saying in before I uh, finish the video. The chips are very, very nice. I would definitely recommend the chips. They do plain or battered. Um, the plain looked really nice, to be fair, but these battered are, are great chips. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend the chips. The kebab is a bit... It was freshly cut off off the off the off the off the kebab thing, if you know what I mean. It was freshly cut, but in areas it was cardboardy and a bit dry, um, which I've had better kebabs before. Um, the the chicken and mushroom pie is very very nice. It's a little bit tough around the edges compared to we've had pies before where it's been quite soft all the way through. But this has been a little bit tough on the edges. The curry sauce is probably, you know, viewers, the best curry sauce I think I've had from a chip shop. It is absolutely fantastic. This, when I ask about it being thick, and I, I say to people, I say on your Takeaway Tuesday about curry sauce being how it, how it should be. Viewers, that, in my opinion, is how curry sauce should be. So that is absolutely perfect. And like I said earlier, it comes in two different flavours you can have the normal or the chinese right then so let's get down to the nitty gritty bit let's uh, have a look at regarding the score what we think of the rye crawfish bar i'm only going to knock it a bit for the kebab because it was just tough in some areas and a little bit for the pie because it was very not it's very nice it's just little bits are a bit tougher than others so i'm going to give rycroft fish bar i'm going to give it nine out of ten viewers yeah i think that's i think that's a fair reflection i think i was swaying towards 8.5 and nine but i think nine nine because the curry sauce is exceptionally good and the chips are really nice 
So, and it's only a little problem I find with the pie and the kebab. I don't think it's something that... It ain't where I'd, I'd throw the whole lot away. It's probably just a couple of little bits here and there that I'd, I'd perhaps well need. Um... So yeah, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10 for the Rycroft Fish Bar. Thank you very much for watching Takeaway Tuesday. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel of late. I really do appreciate it. And thanks to all the lovely comments. I'll see you on the next one. And it's bye for now.